Hi guys, so in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to find out how many watts my gas furnace uses. So in the event of a power outage, I would be able to uh, identify how big of a battery uh, I would need or what kind of generator I would need to power the furnace during a power outage. So what I went ahead and did is I went and bought this uh, generator switch and I see if we can get a picture of that in there what this is it's an easy generator switch it is UL rated and it's basically a one outlet manual transfer switch now the switch will switch the neutral and the hot so if you see the top says generator, the middle position is off, and the bottom says normal. And how it's connected is just imagine six connectors in here, two, two, and two, with the middle being the load, and the load is the furnace. So if I connect the generator, it's gonna disconnect the house power. If I go to the house power, it'll disconnect the generator. So why this is important is by having this I will not back feed the um, panel thus not uh, causing alignment to get hurt if they're working on the line so I installed this switch and what I did was I ran this outlet and instead of going into a generator or an inverter I actually ran it into another outlet in my house so that I could actually simulate a power outage. And so by doing that, I hooked up a kilowatt, which you can see here, to record how much watts this uses. So what I'm gonna show you here in a minute is the readings on the kilowatt and I actually did this over a 48 hour period so when the video cuts out and back in you're gonna see how many watts how many kilowatt hours I used at the 24 hour mark and then how many I used at the 48 hour mark and what I can tell you is that both days it was about 30 in the day and 20 some degrees at night and it's a mid-December in my area which that's about average temperatures for mid-December 30 degrees in the day to 20 degrees at night and so what I found with this is that when the blower and all the components are running on the furnace it uses around 560 watts at 560 watts that is in my mind, I would probably get away with a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. And on as far as a generator, I would think that a good quality 2000 watt generator would be sufficient. Uh, we'll cut in here in a few seconds and I'll show you what the actual numbers were as far as a 24 hour mark. And then I ran it for a 48 hour mark just to see how, you know, day one compared to day two and if they were close to each other as far as the total kilowatt hours. So over here, you can basically, if you follow the cord, it goes into my kilowatt, which really just goes into a, an outlet. Sorry, it's a little dark in here, but the whole purpose was to get these numbers here and um, hopefully there's enough light to see it. So you can see we're at the 24 hour mark and we used 2.23, I'm sorry, 2.23 kilowatt hours over a 24 hour period. So that's 2,230 watts it used over a 24-hour period. Uh, at idle, the furnace uses about 4.2 watts, and that's really just to keep the control board powered up. Uh, when it's running, it uses about 560 watts. Anyway, uh, we're going to run this for another day, and we're going to uh, see if that 2,330 stays consistent from uh, day over day. So. Uh, next time we look at that, it should say 48 hours on it, and uh, the number should be about doubled. It might be a little more than that because I believe today's a little colder than yesterday. 
So here is the hours meter after running for 48 hours. So you can see the furnace actually is running its uh, 406, I'm sorry, 4.63 kilowatt hours. So that's what we used over a 48 hour period. And I will break those numbers down to see what we averaged over two days. And keep in mind, it's been in the 30s in the day and the 20s at night. So now that it's running, you can see that's how many watts it's using with the blowers on. And remember, this is a gas furnace. So it's using about 560 to 570 watts. And if you looked at the time, you can see, sorry, this is so hard to read, but you can see that it's been running for 47, min, uh, 47 hours, 59 minutes. So in reality, that's one minute away from 48 hours, which there it goes. So there's two full days right there. And you can see that it used 4.64 kilowatt hours over two days. Okay guys, so what I've done here is I've got the watt meter hooked up and I also got my amp meter hooked up. This is a clamp on amp meter. And I've got it set to inrush amps. And what we're going to do here is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pump up the heat on the thermostat so we can get the furnace to kick on. So we'll set that to 73. And what we might have to do, and we're gonna watch the inrush. So the, um, the igniter just kicked on and there's an inducer motor that's gonna kick on. So if it records that, I'm gonna to have to reset it, which it just did. So see the 3.7? We're gonna reset that. 3.6. I'm trying to capture the inrush of the blower motor. That 3.7, I believe, was the inducer motor. So we will see here in a second of what the actual blower motor is. That's the bigger motor in the furnace. So 3.7 was that inducer that kicked on. And that's the motor that kind of sucked. There it goes. So 11.7 is the actual furnace blower motor. So now that we've got that captured, we can go back and we can do some calculations. 11.7 uh, times, give or take, um, 120 volts. And that'll tell us about how many watts that needed on startup. You know, rough math. Uh, you know, 100 would be 1,100 watts, and, you know, 120 would be 120% of 1,100, you know, I don't know, 1,300 watts. So, clearly, what that means to me, and I'm just going to set this back to the regular amp so you can see what the amp draw is. So, it's drawing 5.5 amps right now, and I believe if we come back here, you're going to see... A kilowatt meter if I can get it into the light we should be able to see something very similar it's 5.53 so you know 5.5 over here on the fluke and 5.53 on the kilowatt and you can see our watts is 562 watts so um, Again, what, what I just recorded was how many surge watts it uses on startup. And uh, I'll put the calculations up here after I get the calculator out and figure it out. But I would feel very comfortable with a 2,000 watt inverter, a 1,500 watt inverter, uh, or a 2,000 watt generator. Okay?